PCS7 allows the forcing of block input parameters that have been wired connected. This video will show how to enable and use this forcing feature. If we want to be able to force the value of a wired block input parameter, we need to set our project up to allow it. First, the Charts folder of the CPU has to have the Support Forcing feature enabled. Next, the actual block input parameter that we want to force needs the Add Forcing feature enabled in its properties. Last, while the properties of the block input are open in test mode, Forcing Active must be enabled. Let's enable forcing for the charts. Enable Support Forcing from Charts folder by expanding the AS. Right-click the Charts folder and open its Object Properties. Select the Advanced tab, then select the Support Forcing checkbox. Notice that checking this feature requires a complete chart compile. Right-click the Chart folder and Compile. Notice that Changes Only cannot be selected. Now we need to download. Notice that Changes Only is selectable for download, so we don't have to stop the CPU. Now we'll add forcing to a block input parameter. Expand the AS Projects Plant View and find the chart containing the block input we want to force. For example, we'll use the chart TICA315 in the Heat folder. Right-clicking and opening this chart, we find the PID block control. In this example, we want to force the wired input parameter PV. To enable the Add Forcing feature, right-click the PV input parameter, then select Object Properties. From the Select Structure Element window that opens, select Value and click the Properties button at the bottom right. Select the Add Forcing checkbox, and then select OK. Close the Properties window. Notice the little green rectangle on the PV input. This indicates that this parameter has the Add Forcing feature enabled. This change also needs to be compiled and downloaded to the CPU. However, Changes Only can be selected for the compile. As well as Changes Only for downloading. We're ready to activate forcing in test mode on the PV input parameter we just set up. Turn on test mode by clicking the switch in the toolbar. Right-click the header of the control block, then select Watch On to see live data for this block. Notice the little green rectangle on the PV input is visible in test mode as well. Now open the properties of input PV as before. Open the properties of value as before. 
Select the Forcing Active checkbox. Enter a value. And click the Apply button to write the changes. Notice that the green rectangle has turned red and the value has a blue background. This means that the PV is currently forced. Uncheck Force Active and click Apply to turn forcing off. Close the value properties and close the PV properties. Turn off test mode. 